I am unhappy. That's uh, that's probably the best way to start this little letter I'm writing. Who am I even writing this to, though? Am I am I writing it to myself? Am I trying to reach out to other people who have the ability to make me happy again? I, I'm not really sure. But uh, I'm writing it nonetheless, so here we go. I made a promise, you see. You know, I, I used to make promises just willy-nilly with no intention of keeping them, and that was wrong. I know it was. I knew it was back then as well, but I did it anyway. Because, because it was habit. I had put myself into this horrid cycle of just lies and bullshit. Lying about the stupidest things. Things that needed no lies. I can't change it now. It's too late and it's in my past. I put it there to stay, though. Not to be forgotten, but never to be visited again. This, this promise that I made is not going to be broken. It can't. I can't break it. And I won't break it. I've broken too many promises in the past to have one more broken promise in the future. And you can say that I've worked too hard on this. That I've spent too much time and all of my energy trying to... Trying to what? Fix what happened? Change myself and show it? I know who I'm talking to now. I'm talking to myself. And I'm talking to you. It's been well over a year, and I'm still standing. I, I, I truly don't know how, because I really don't have the energy to even type this letter out right now. Don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining. Because what good does complaining really do? But I'm... I'm tired. I'll admit that in a heartbeat. I'm worn out, and I'm starting to need what I thought I just wanted in the past. I'm finding out slowly that I'm in way over my head, and I have come too far to just stop what I'm doing. I've put too much time and effort. Spent too many nights helping just to walk away. I could have walked away months ago. I could have walked away more than a year ago, and maybe it would have been okay. Maybe people would have moved on, and I could have wallowed in my own self-misery by myself. But I wouldn't have liked that. No one would have liked that. I guess the whole truth is I'm sick. I I can't sleep, and when I do, it's filled with nightmares. I'm not going to go into great detail about those, because they're so commonplace now that it's almost as if they've become a part of me. I, I will say that I hate them, and they're obviously taxing on me. I mean, <laughs> every night waking up in a cold sweat, breathing heavy, remembering every little detail about how each individual died in the dream that I just had, you know, it's... It's hard. But I'll admit I wake up crying many nights, but you know it adds to the difficulty, but I've accepted that it's a part of me, and let's just put that to rest. I mean, I, I know who I'm writing to, but I really don't know the point of this letter, truly. If you read this far into it, I'd be a bit surprised, since it seems like random rambling and complaining 
And that's not what I set out to do. Nor did I write to ask for anything. Another thing that I've accepted is that I'll probably be waiting here by myself for a long time to come. In no way do I blame you, because as an outsider looking in, I can say that what you have looks great, and what I have looks bleak. But... Uh, but I'll uh, but I'll admit it, it's hard. It's it's really hard looking and seeing that happiness that I'm void of. Yeah, I sit up late a lot, as insomniacs do, and I think about all this. I think about if I'm even the right thing now. If I'm the person that's best. Of course I say that I am, but is that what I truly am? I've morphed myself into someone that I want to be. Changed everything about the shitty person that I was to make it better and save what I had. And I think that that was signing my own death waiver, really. Because I'm almost too different for my own good. I can't look at other people anymore. I, I see them. I see a good looking girl and maybe I will strike up a conversation, but it won't go further. Because I don't feel anything. I don't feel a connection. I, I feel no spark in my brain. I mean, I really don't mind it that much. I mean, it's just interesting how I can feel all of this and know that it will happen every single time. I'm, I'm sorry if this letter is stupid and it's repetitive, but I needed to get it off my chest. It's been burning a hole there. In all truth... Probably continue doing so for a long time after this letter's handed over to you, but I hope you're still reading at this point. I mean, obviously, my opinion is not the only one that matters, but I'm gonna give it nonetheless. Maybe it's my frame of mind, but the only thing that I see when I look at the situation is us. If it isn't that, then it's myself by myself. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be fair to someone else trying to be in that place. Filling a vacancy that will always be vacant. You can't fill a vacant vacancy. There's no point in putting someone through my own fucking hell. So, so I guess I'll wait. Like I said, I would. I'm, I mean, I'm not like other people. It's not like I fear dying a lonely man. I mean, obviously, I would much rather not. There's no doubt in that, but... I've become quite good at this whole waiting thing. I mean, did you really think I would be around? This long after? I'm guessing that you didn't, and I, I even had my own doubts, but here I am. Still standing. Even if it is on weak legs. <laughs> and I guess now that I think about it, I'm not entirely unhappy. I mean, the memories make me pretty happy. The moments in time that I enjoyed. I think I'm going to end it here. <laughs> I'm always going to be here waiting. Because that is what I have to do. What I said I would do. If life one day decides I'm worthy to stop waiting and start acting, then I will make it happen. But until that day comes, I'm going to be waiting. Playing games and making... 
shallow surface memories and working on getting by day to day. So goodbye for now and I hope to hear from you soon.